Hi everyone. Good evening. So I'm here to uh, teach you all the fourth unit, which is given in your textbook, which is based on time. So um, in that particular lesson, yeah. So now we are here to study the lesson, which is based on time. So in uh, that particular lesson, we need to look into uh, the units of measuring time. And also we need to identify the relationship between different units of measuring time. And also we need to look into how the way we could find the time taken for a particular activity. At the same time, we should also need to understand the differences in between mentioning the time in terms of 12 hour clock format and also in terms of the 24 hour clock format, right? So now, um, and also we need to look into how the way we should write the date in standard form. Plus, we need to look into few things uh, like based on adding the addition part of the time and also the subtraction part of the time, right? So before we move on to the lesson, like on my whiteboard here, I'm writing few uh, things based on the relationship between the units. So first we shall look into these uh, relationship mainly based on few equations, right? So I need everyone to take a full scap or else even on your writing book, please quickly make a note on this, what I'll be writing on the board, right? So here I have written as what? Relationship between units, right? So mainly we are gonna look into most of the equations here before we move on. So 60 seconds is equal to what? one minute and then if you all take 60 minutes 60 minutes is equal to what one hour is equal to what one hour and then if you all take 24 hours is what we call as a day so then 24 hours is equal to what one day Right, please quickly make a note on this, right? So then it's easier for me and also easier for y'all as well so that I could move on further. So then um, if you're like take seven days, so seven days is what we would consider as what one week, right? And then normally when we take into consideration of a month, we can probably say four weeks or five weeks, but when it comes to calculations wise in max, we would probably consider as what four weeks. So I'm going to give that. And also one more thing, like uh, when you like take a month in calculation wise, if they ask or in a situation which we need to figure out the total number of days uh, in a period of months, we should probably take the number of days in a month as 30 and then only we must do all the relevant calculations, right? Uh, so seven days is equal to one week. And then here I'm gonna mention what four weeks is equal to what? Is equal to one month. So quickly write it along with me so then it's easier. Right. And then write this down. It's what it's 12 months is what we consider as what one year. And then if you take one common year, the number of days is what 365 days 365 days is equal to what one common year one common year and then 366 days is equal to what one leap year 
one leap here, which comes in, which comes once in every four years, which one leap here. And then also mention this one as well. 10 years is equal to one decade. And then 100 years, then 100 years <coughs> is equal to one century. One century. And then under that, the mention as what? 1,000 years. 1,000 years is what? You would consider as what? One millennium. Is what we would consider as what? One millennium. Could you please quickly copy this down? Could you please quickly copy this down? Please copy this down. Right. So I'll repeat again, 60 seconds is equal to what one minute, then 60 minutes is equal to what one hour, then 24 hours is equal to what one day, then seven days is equal to one week, then four weeks is equal to what one month, and then 12 months is equal to what one year, and 365 days is what we would consider as like one common year. If that is a leap year, which comes in uh, once in every four years, in that there are 366 days, right? And also like you will be reading about leap year and also the calculations like in grade seven, right? So then I'm not gonna deeply uh, teach that part regarding the leap year, but this is, these are the equations. So 10 years is equal to one decade, then 100 years is equal to one century, then 1000 years is equal to one millennium. Right. So I hope you all can see what I'm sharing at the moment. I hope you all can see my screen, what I'm sharing at the moment. So I hope everyone is done copying. So now we shall look into this, all right? So please look at my shared screen. So this part is what reading the time on a our clock accurately. So here I have given a picture of a clock, wait, I'll zoom in. So then it's much more easier for y'all to have a look, right? So find a clock similar to the one, let's continue with this here. So from the three ends, uh, which are fixed at the center, the shortest end is what is the other end. Wait, I will erase this and then I will point it out again. So if you're like looking to, three ends which are fixed at the center, the shortest end, so this is the one which we could refer, this is the one which we would call as what? The other end. <coughs> right. And, uh, and also I will mark this by using the red color, right? The one which is the longest here. So the one which is the longest and also the one which is more narrower than the other two ends. So this is the one we would call as what has the second end. As the second end. Right. 
and then uh, the remaining and which is what the other one i for that i will use a blue color so this is the one which we could consider as what has the minute and has the minute and right so uh yeah please have a look mainly look at this particular point these two points have a look the time it takes for the pointed end of the hour and to move from one number to the next is what is one hour so if you all take it like in this way so wait i will draw it on my board and then you all can have a look please take it in this way here yeah, please have a look right so here please have a look so i'll point this one please have a look so this is the other end and i'll draw it like in the same way so this is the minute and and the second and is the narrowest one and also the longest one which is what this right so then what i have mentioned here is please look the time it takes for the pointed end of the hour and the pointed end of the hour and to move from one number to the next is what which means if it moves from now here it is pointing what it is pointing out the number 10 so if it if the hour and moves from one particular number and then if it moves to the next number which means like now it is pointing out at the number what 10 so if it moves to the number 11 and if it points out that particular number 11 then therefore we could consider it has what it has what that one hour has passed right so which means the time it takes for the pointed end of the hour and to move from one particular number to the next one is what we would consider as what as one hour so now as it shows what this particular one is pointing out at the number what 10 and if it moves towards the number 11 if it moves towards the number 11 which means the shortest hand here which in which is what which is considered as the hour and if it moves from one particular number to another then we would probably consider it as what that it has what one hour has passed so normally when we like look into the hour and which is the shortest one year among the three uh, ands of in a clock so this if it moves from one particular number to another we would probably it has what has one hour right and also the time it takes for the pointed end of the minute and to move from one short line segment to the next one so if you're like look look into this i'll consider this as what now it is pointing out at what at two so two actually means what you can consider like this so if it indicates one for the minute and when we like consider the minutes if it indicates one it means what it's five minutes so you should probably go with the five times table so if it indicates two it's what it means it's 10. If it indicates three, it means what it's 15 minutes. So yeah, it's what it's five minutes, right? And then what 10 minutes, and then you have 15 minutes, and then at four, it indicates what it's 20 minutes. I'm mainly considering for the minute and now, right? So at five, it'll be what 25 minutes because this has been divided into what as i said before it has been divided into what into 60 equal segments so if you consider like each segment is what is a minute 
each small part out of those 60 small parts in a clock each small part out of those 60 small parts is what we would consider as what one so that, for that reason only i said in between 12 to 1 there you can find five equal parts what does that mean each equal part is a minute so five equal parts should be what five minutes because each equal part is what a minute so for five equal parts for sure that should indicate what five minutes again another five equal parts now when we like take this we should probably take it from i'm taking it from the 12 right so from here there you can see five equal parts of five minutes again from 12 to 2 there you can find what 10 equal parts of those then therefore for that reason i have mentioned as what 10 minutes or is the easier way is you can probably as you all know the five times table if it indicates one there you can find what five equal gaps in between so it means what it negates five minutes then what 10 minutes then again what here it's 15 minutes then what 20 minutes then what 25 minutes and here it's what it's 30 30 minutes right 30 minutes and then here it's what it's 35 minutes and then here it is what it's 40 minutes right and then here it is what it's 45 <coughs> 45 minutes and then here it is what it's 50 minutes and then here it is what it's 55 minutes and then again another five equal parts are there in between 11 and 12 so again another five more minutes so 55 plus five will definitely make it what 60 so 60 minutes is what we as i'd given the equations previously which have which i had copied from the board it says what that 60 minutes is equal to what one hour so here at this point it would come to what 60 minutes so if uh, so this is what we would consider as what like if i take it a uh, total complete round from a minute and so the minute and the one which indicates at two year, let me take it like this. If it indicates at, if it is indicating at the number uh, 12, and if it goes around a complete circle from pointing out at 12, and then if it goes in this way, clockwisely, and then at six, it would, it would have reached about 30 minutes in total. Again, another, semicircular motion like this. So which would probably come to what another 30 minutes, which will make it as what 30 year, then again, another 30, which will make it as what 60 minutes in total. So when the minute and moves a complete circle starting from 12 to the same 12, uh, rotating clockwisely in the in this particular direction. So this is what we would consider as what as 60 minutes in total so 60 minutes in total right so here and also one more thing as i said before here the time it takes for the pointed end of the hour and to move from one number to another number is what we consider as one hour and also the time it takes for the pointed end of the minute and now it is indicating at what at 12 so from the minute and from uh, move, uh, to move from one short line segment to the next is what one minute so in between there you can find what four small straight line segments so which means there you could probably find what five equal gaps in between or five equal parts in between so if it is indicating at right at 12 now and if it moves slightly in this direction and if it is uh, indicating this particular line segment the first line segment right after 12 so then therefore we could say what one minute has passed right so this is how it works when it comes to uh oven, if it moves from one number to the next number to the next number then we would consider it has what that one hour has passed and if you take it for the minute and if it moves from a particular segment to the next segment or from a particular number to the next short line segment 
short line segment is what we would consider as what that uh, one minute. So then we would probably say that one minute has passed, right? And also here, I've also mentioned one more thing here, the time it takes for the pointed end of the seconds and to move from one short line segment to the next one is what we call as what is what we call as like look at that part again the time it takes for the pointed end of the seconds and so this is the one which i'm indicating as what as the seconds and to move from one short line segment to the next one to the next one which means if it is indicating at this short line segment if it moves like in this way if it moves right next to the segment like in this way if it moves from six to the next short line segment which is right next to six in between which lies in between six and seven there you can see four straight line segments if it comes right next to the number six in which lies in between six and seven so that particular short line segment if it moves from this particular position to this particular point which is indicating the short line segment right next to six then we would probably consider consider it as what as that one second as passed right so that is what i've mentioned there the time it takes for the pointed end of the seconds and to move from one one short line segment which is here to the next one short line segment is to the next is what we call as one second right so if you like consider as uh, one hour so during an hour we can say during an hour an hour which means one hour is equal to what 60 minutes right so if you take into consideration of 60 minutes like during an hour the minute and rotates what one round because as i said the minute and if it moves from 12 to this particular position it indicates what minute so if it goes on a complete round clockwisely if it goes on a complete round then we would probably indicate it has what as 60 minutes which means one hour so if the minute and if the minute and goes on a complete round then we should probably indicate it as what 60 minutes which is equal to what an hour right and uh, if you all consider the second and right so if you're like looking to the second and now one we know that one minute you know that, that one minute is equal to what 60 seconds we know that that one minute is equal to what 60 seconds so as i said before when the seconds and moves from one particular straight line segment to the next straight line segment we would consider it as what as one second has passed so to make it as one minute it has to pass what 60 equals parts like that because then only it could make it as what 60 seconds then only it could make it as 60 seconds is equal to one minute right so which means if the second and if, if, if when the seconds and if it is moving from a particular straight line segment and if it comes right back to the same straight line segment which is considered as what as a complete circle or as a complete rotation to the same point where it is started from then it would have actually like for example it's uh the second hand is over here right so at six and then moving towards the next and say uh moving towards the next straight line segment that will make it what one second so from six here there you can see i'll mention these ones right so here it is at what six and then what year one second then what two seconds three seconds four seconds five seconds so in between from six to seven since there are like five equal parts that will make it what five seconds so when it comes back in the same way to the point where it is started from so if it comes to the same position as again to the point where it is started from then that will make it as what as a complete rotation or as a complete circle for the seconds and then therefore that would have moved towards what 
towards like 60 equal parts which would which can be considered as what as 60 seconds which we can call as what one minute because 60 seconds is equal to what is equal to one minute so during one minute guys you all need to know that the seconds and rotates what one round so during an hour the minute and rotates one round so if the minute and rotates one round it indicates what it indicates an hour and when the seconds and rotates one round it indicates what a minute right so that is what i've given under it as one you all can see on the chat screen one hour is equal to what 60 minutes then one minute is equal to what is equal to uh, 60 seconds right 60 seconds is equal to what is equal to one minute so during one minute guys you all need to know that the seconds and rotates what one round so during an hour the minute and rotates one round so if the minute and rotates one round it indicates what it indicates an hour and when the seconds and rotates one round it indicates what a minute right so that is what i've given under it as one you all can see on the chat screen one hour is equal to what 60 minutes then one minute is equal to what is equal to uh, 60 seconds right and then here please have a look onto this one so let us read the time uh, denoted by the clock in the figure so here i have mentioned please look at this and send me your answers like here if you're like look at this uh, look at my shared screen now i'm pointing out that one now so if you're like look into this short and so this short and is what we consider as what as i said before is what is the hour and right so i'll just write as hour okay hour and or wait hour and right so this actually indicates or this lies in between the numbers 10 and 11 right actually if you like have a look the hour and lies in between 10 and 11 right so from this we can probably say one thing very clearly the number that the hour and as last passed is what is 10 because as it lies in between 10 and 11 we should not take the number which comes right after we should probably look into the number what it has last passed so the uh, the hour and as last passed what the, the number 10 so which means it must be like 10 like with uh 10 10 or like 10 15 or 10 20 or 10 30 10 40 something like that so now in order to know the minutes we should probably look into the minute and and then we should uh take the proper reading of the time and also with the seconds and as well so if you're like look into the minute and now <coughs> so like look into the minute and yeah, please have a look. Uh, the minute and yeah, the minute and is exactly pointing out the number two. So what does that mean? Uh, as I said before, when the minute and moves from one straight line segment to the next straight line segment, it indicates what that one minute has passed. So here it's one then what two three then what four five then what six seven eight nine ten so which will make in total of what 10 minutes or as uh as i said before you all can simply uh rely on what on the five times table so which means what at one there you can find uh in between 12 to one there you can find uh five equal straight and say uh, five equal parts then therefore that would make it as what five minutes here so at the point two that would probably make it as what 10 minutes right it indicates what 10 minutes so therefore for now we can say the other end has last passed 10 so it's 10 hours and then uh in minutes right 
in minutes wise there you can see what it's what it's 10 minutes right and also if you're like look into the seconds and now the second and is the one which is given in red and the narrow was one and which has been given here which is red in color so the uh, the seconds and is probably indicating what at the as i said before when the second and moves from one particular straight line segment to the next straight line segment it indicates what a second so which means now it has moved from 12 to this much so which indicates what there are like if you take each pair of numbers there are five equal parts together it has moved from 12 to 5 which indicates what it's there are five like there you can see in between from 12 to 1 there are what five equal parts from one to two there are again five equal parts then from two to three there are what five equal parts then from three to four again what there are five equal parts in between then from four to five there are again what five equal parts so which will make a total of what five times five will make it what 25 so the seconds and indicates what indicates it as indicates as what 25 seconds so then therefore that would be what 10 10 then what 25 right so then from this i have mentioned here the minute and lies between the 10th and the 11th line segments ends the line segment that the minute and has last passed is what is 10 and also the seconds and is pointing towards the 25th line segment as i marked here as 25 so therefore the time is read as what 10 minutes 10 minutes because the minute and points are at what two so two times five is a 10 so 10 minutes and then what the second and is indicating at five which will sum up to what 25 seconds then therefore 10 minutes and 25 seconds and also the hour and lies in between 10 and 11 so it indicates what that it, it has passed 10. so of, uh, the way of this time should be read is 10 minutes and 25 seconds so we should probably indicate when we like say that we should probably indicate the minutes first and then the seconds and then the hour so we would probably say about 10 minutes and 25 seconds past 10. so when it comes to the uh, written method of it this is written as 10 dot 10 dot 25 all right but normally when we uh see the time we uh will not be most of the time we will not be indicating the seconds part so sometimes the number of seconds is not indicated so in such case the time is expressed as what only the hour part and also the minutes part will be mentioned which will make it as what 10 10. so then we would probably say it as what 10 minutes past 10 which will be which can be written as what 10 10 right so do you all have any doubts on the way how we should um, read the time and how the way it should be written and all? Any doubts? Um uh, only one student has raised the end. Uh, so no any doubts. 
let me ask the doubt from that one. Yeah, you can ask the doubt. Is it not Ramiz? Yeah, Nawal Ramiz, you can ask the doubt. Hello? Nawal Ramiz? Yes? I didn't uh, understand the hour hand. I didn't uh, understand the hour hand. The hour hand. Okay. Um, so here, what I said was here, please have a look. When it comes to reading the time here, I'd mentioned, please have a look. When it comes to the hour and we should probably look into where this hour and is pointing out. And mainly, if it is exactly as, for example, let me say, if it is exact, exactly as 10 o'clock, right? So then, therefore, it would probably indicate like in this way. No? If it is exactly as 10 o'clock, then it would probably indicate as what the hour hand indicates what at 10 and then the minute hand would indicate at what at 12 saying that it's what 10 o'clock. So that is only when the hour hand would directly indicate without being uh, at the middle or without being in the middle of two numbers. That is only when, when it is like 10 o'clock or nine o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, three o'clock, two o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, so in at those uh, timings, you would have noticed one thing that the other and would directly indicate that particular number. So therefore, so you should when you like take when you like uh, take the time when you like read the time, you all should probably look into where the other and is indicating at. So if it exactly indicates at ten, so it's ten. So for the other part, we should take it as what ten. Right. So sometimes uh, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. So here the hour and actually lies in between in between 10 and 11. Right. Because if you like really look into this one, if I draw a straight line towards it would probably meet at this point, which is right after 10, which is uh, the straight line segment, which has been given there right after 10. So actually it lies in between 10 and 11, right? So as it lies in between 10 and 11, we can't say it's 11 hours. That is completely wrong because it has just passed 10. So when, when we say as 10 o'clock, it's exactly 10. So when the minute and moves further away from 12, so it could be like what 10, five, then what 10, 10, so where there is like one year, then what two year? So as the minute and moves further in the clockwise direction, what really happens is as it moves further away, as the minute and moves further away, even the hour and will also start to move a bit further, right? So well, if there is exactly as 10 o'clock, it would probably indicate that the hour and would probably indicate at the point but where there is 10, right? But when we consider like in this way, you should probably look into where this ten, where the hour and lies at. So actually this hour and lies in between 10 and 11. So we should probably look into the num, we should probably take the number which comes right before, like for example, here the, the hour and lies in between 10 and 11, right? So don't take 11 because it has just passed 10. You know, take 11, then it has to be, it has to be pointing at 11 or it has to be in between 11 and 12. So when the other hand lies in between 10 and 11, for the other part, it should be taken as what 10, which means the number 
the number that it starts from so when we say okay the hour and lies in between 10 and 11 actually it starts so we say that it it lies in between 10 and 11 so the starting number is what is 10 right so stick to that particular value for the hour part right so in order to take it as 11 then probably this hour and probably this hour and should be indicating at the point what something like this then we could say okay there's the hour and lies in between what 11 and 12 then therefore we could probably take it as what it's it has passed 11 and then you should probably look into the uh point where the minute and is uh directing at then from that you will be able to uh figure out or you will be able to like read out the time right so this is one thing that you all need to know regarding uh reading the time denoted by the clock in the figure right and now we shall start doing this questions then therefore you will have a better understanding right and then after this i will give you all a few minutes so that you all can right so please have a look here so write down the time denoted by each of the following clock phases in terms of what hours minutes and seconds right so now here please have a look in terms of what hours minutes and seconds so i will be writing the answers on the whiteboard so but by the way could you please send me the answers for the very first one for the roman for the roman number 1 and also uh, i hope you all have made a note on what i have written on the board regarding the minutes part so when we like do questions then we will understand it better so now i will move on to those questions right so now please have a look right so if you like have a look at that particular one uh the shortest and is what is the hour and right so the uh, the hour and is exactly lying in between 1 and 2 right is exactly pointing out in uh, in between 1 and 2 so as it lies in between 1 and 2 can we go with 2 no we should probably stick to the number that it starts with so as it lies in between 1 and 2 i can't say it's 2 it should be taken as what i should probably stick to what stick to the number what it starts with so as it lies in between 1 and 2 i should probably stick to what 1 and also so in hour it will be what 1 right so anyway i will i'll be like writing the answer on the board so then you all can check and uh, before that we shall take the values here then the minute and is exactly pointing out at the straight line segment right after 3 right so up to 3 it would have made what 15 minutes in total by taking for each number in between there are what uh, there are like five equal parts so then that would probably make 5 minutes in total 5 minutes in between 12 to 1 so then one to two again 5 minutes then two to three what again 5 minutes so in total that would make it what 15 but then it is exactly indicating at the point right next to 3 so then therefore that should be taken as what 16 right 16 minutes so now we know uh, the hour and in minutes wise what it's 16 minutes and also look at the <coughs> seconds and it is exactly indicating actually uh, it is it, it is exactly indicating at the point what 50 nine and also like uh, the figure is not that uh, very clear here you all can take this as what has 59 right so here they are asking us to write on the time so here first i will write that in uh, words like the way how it should be read and afterwards i will write down the way how it should be like indicate like the written method plus the way how it should be read i'll write both so then we'll give you all a better idea on this right so how do you all write this for the first one for the first one we can say what 
as 16 minutes, right? 16 minutes, 16 minutes. Please have a look, 16 minutes, right? 16 minutes, <coughs> 16 minutes. And we can say what? And how many seconds? 59 seconds as we have taken the reading, 59 seconds. Then what? Passed. As it as the other end lies in between one and two, but passed one. Right? Passed one. Right? Passed one. So I have indicated in terms of what minutes, seconds, and uh, hours. But then this is the way how it should be read, right? OK, so the way how it should be written is I will write that too under that, which is what first we must write, start with the other part. And then we must write down the minutes part. Right, we shall write down the minutes part and then we should write down the seconds part. So one dot one six sixteen then what 59 right so this is the way how it should be mentioned here and then now please have a look on to the next one the second one now could you please send me the answer for the second one have a look have a look at the point where this other end is indicating at have a look onto it. Look at the other end. Other end actually lies in between what? In between eight and nine. In between eight and nine. So I can write here as what? Eight initially, right? And then for the minute and please have a look. Please have a look here. It is exactly indicating the fourth straight line segment right after five. So until five, it will be what, 25 minutes in total. So then here it's what, 26, 27, 28, and then what, 29. Because when it reaches six, it will become what, 30. So it's what, 29 minutes, right? 29 minutes. And then if you're like, look into the seconds and it is exactly pointing out at 13 because it's the third straight line segment right after two. So at two, it will be what 10. So then 11, 12. And then at this point, you can take it as what 13. Then afterwards, what year it's 14 and it will be what 15, right? So it will, it can be taken as what 13 there, right? So 13 seconds. So then from this, we can say, it's what it's 29 minutes. I'm also writing down the way it should be read as well. So please do make a note on both how the way it should be like written, right? And also how the way it should be read. Actually, the answers are these, right? But I'm also writing down the way it should be read because they could also ask how the way it should be read as well. For that reason, anyway, please make a note on this. So like 29 minutes and uh, 13 seconds and 13 seconds past past eight so 29 minutes and 13 seconds past eight right so please quickly make a note on these ones right so can someone send me the answers for the, yeah, some of y'all have sent me the answers, uh, good, right, good, keep it up. Uh, what about the third one? What can we say for the third one? Actually, I've written down the way how it should be read and also how the way it should be written and also please uh, make a note on both anyway. So then it will be helpful for y'all for the exams. Right. So I hope you all have made a note on this. I'm going to erase this. 
Wait, I'll write the third one and then I will erase. Right. So now please have a look onto the third one. So we don't like look into the third one, the hour and right, the shortest one, the hour and indicates at a point which lies in between 10 and 11. So it, it means what? As it lies in between 10 and 11, it has passed 10, right? So for the hour part, we can write as what? 10, right? And then afterwards, if you're like, look into the minute and. But if you're like, really look into the minute hand. Please have a look. So if you're like, look, really look into the minute hand now, the minute and it uh, lies in between. 12 and then here in between the straight and seg in between the straight line segment. So what we could do for this is uh, actually now one minute has not passed because it has not reached the first straight line segment, which is right after 12. So as it is, as one minute has not passed, we should probably go with what? Zero, zero, right? And also when it comes to the minute part here and also for the seconds part here please do indicate it by using two digits right two digits right so and then if you're like really look into the seconds and, and also i'm getting more answers uh if you like look really look into the seconds and second and is indicating at the point uh we can take it as 16 there right okay so it will be what 16 actually like in these uh, ones uh, like in exams they would probably give uh, in a way more like clearer way right uh, so then from this we could probably say wait so what we could say here is Yeah, we do not need to write regarding the minutes. So 16 seconds past 10 then. For that reason only, I've included this one. Yeah, I got the answers from few of y'all. No, better take it as 16 seconds for when it comes to seconds and uh, we shall directly take the number uh yeah like as uh 16 year right it should be taken as 16 year right and then now we shall look into the next one so <clears throat> look at the fourth one so if you like look at look at the fourth one uh where the other and is indicating actually the other and is indicating in between actually it lies in between three and four right so what does that mean? In hours, it should be taken as what three. Okay. In hours, it should be taken as what three. And then if you're like, look into the minute and year, right? If you're like, look into the minute hand, we shall take It has what after right after 30, it's it, it it indicates the first segment right after 30. So it what it is 31 minutes. And then if you like refer to the seconds part, it is indicating a point which is right after 11. So 11 times 5 will make it what 55. So what comes after 11? Right after the 11, there is this segment where it indicates the second where, where the second and is indicating. So it is what? It's 56 then. So how do you write it? When, when, uh, so this is the way we would write it 3.31.56. So indicating the hours part and the minutes part, and then what? The seconds part, right? And uh, if you all ask me how the way it should be written, uh, like written, I have written it over here. And also if you ask me how the way it should be like read, 
I'm right. I will write it on the board. Please have a look onto this. So how do you write this, guys? So you would probably say as what thirty one, thirty one uh, minutes and uh, fifty six seconds. Thirty one minutes and fifty six seconds past three. Past three, right? I have mentioned that on the board as well. How the way it should be read, and also how the way it should be written. Actually, the answer is this, and also I have mentioned the way it should be read as well, right? So, so, yeah. Can we introduce our institute? Yes, sure. Okay, students. So I want to introduce the institute. Like, uh, if you want to join Harshan sir for your max class, so how you can join? So let me show you that. Right. So this is our website. Okay. So if you want, like, I have uh, uploaded. I have uploaded uh, a full video on how to access the website in the YouTube, so you can go and check check that as well. So let me just give you a small introduction here. So. Um, so if you go to all courses, if you go to all courses. You will get all the grades. So grade six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like that. You will get all the grades. So you should click on grade six, right? So once you click on grade six, you will have the option here. So here you have mathematics, and the sir is Harshan sir, and here you have the time. So the time is on Thursday, seven to nine p.m. Right, and the monthly fees it will be thousand rupees. So if you want to join Harshan sir's max class, go to our YouTube channels. So our YouTube channel is Sateha College. Okay, Sateha College. If you type it and if you go to our YouTube channel, there I have uploaded a video how to register to our website. So you should register to the website, and then you can purchase this course if you want to join Harshan sir's class. Right. So I hope. Hope uh, you visit our YouTube channel and uh, uh, join Harshan sir for your max classes. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so now uh, I will also like point out few things here, like based on the conversions. Mainly uh, in this particular lesson, most of the students will be finding it quite difficult based on what based on conversions. And based on addition, and also based on subtraction. So I'm going to point out a few things here, which will help to do those particular areas in a way more efficient way, and also in a way more easier way, right? And of most of you all uh, will be having doubts when it comes to converting like seconds into minutes or like minutes into seconds. Right. So most of you all will be having a doubt on that particular area. How the way we should convert it? Even though if you know the equations, let me say that one minute is equal to what sixty seconds. So if we take a question like converting a seconds to minute or minutes to seconds, most probably most of you all will be having a doubts on whether we need to multiply it by sixty or whether we need to divide it by sixty. That is one of the uh, major part. But I've seen in most of the students uh, that you all would make a mistake, or that you all will be having a doubt on that particular area whether we need to multiply or else to divide. For that, I will give you all a better idea, and this idea can also be used for all the other conversions which I will be studying based on mass, converting kilograms to grams, or else in uh, length, converting centimeters to meters, meters to centimeters. So for almost for all of them, you all can use this basic idea. So please listen to me very, very carefully here, right? Please listen to me very carefully here. So when you like look into this particular area, I have already given the equations. So now let me take a question. Please have a look. I will take this question. So then, uh, by the way, please go through this chart uh, 
right? I will go through this particular area now. Mainly I've given most of it. Uh, and also one more uh, thing as well for the standard time uh, to be written in the time according to the standard form. In the textbook, they have actually given it as 24 colon 00 for 12 midnight, which is what 12 a.m., right? 12 midnight. For that, actually, it has to be given as what? 00, zero colon 00. zero. So please do that correction on your textbook. All right. Uh, I will mainly look into these particular areas where most of y'all would find uh, difficult, mainly on the conversions part. So then that could be helpful uh, for y'all so that y'all join today. Y'all will have a better idea on this, on conversions, right? So let me do a question based on that now, All right? So here, I have given a few things here. Uh, relationship between units of measuring time. So representing time given in minutes in terms of seconds. So I've given as what one minute is equal to 60 seconds, then two minutes is equal to 120 seconds. Obviously, you all know that one minute is equal to what 60 seconds. So if that is for a period of two minutes, then you all will definitely like it's like one minute is equal to six seconds. And therefore, if, if the minutes get doubled, if it is like two minutes, so in that each minute contains what 60 seconds, or each minute is consisted of what 60 seconds. So if that is for two minutes, two minutes, then therefore you should probably take that 60 and multiply it by two. For that part, please have a look. What we can do here is on conversions. I will take this particular question. Here I've given few questions and express each of the following times given in minutes in terms of what sec seconds, right? So the first question here, actually this question is complete like based on what converting minutes to seconds so if we need to convert minutes <coughs> into seconds first y'all should know the basic equation which is related to this without knowing that we can't do anything without knowing how much one minute is equal to in seconds without even knowing that we can't do any questions based on this first y'all should know what uh, the basic equations of which I've given initially, even in this tutorial, I've mentioned uh, based on each particular uh, subunits, I've mentioned the uh, equations, right? So here, yeah, please have a look. So as we need to convert minutes into seconds, we should know that one minute is equal to what? 60 seconds. We know that one minute is equal to what? 60 seconds. So I'll take the first question. Look at that first one, which is what? We need to convert that eight minutes. What I'm sharing on my screen there, I can have a uh, look at the questions, <clears throat> which is given on page number 12 uh, on the tute. So, right. So as we need to convert this eight minutes, so they have given the question in minutes, right? The question, the numerical value in which they've given the question, the numerical is eight, and also eight is given in terms of what? terms of minutes. So as they've given in terms of minutes and we need to convert that into what seconds, right? So bring in the equation in the same order, always keep the question. Like for example, let me say the question is given in what minutes no, in terms of minutes. So always keep the minutes onto your left hand side because the answer should be given in seconds. So which means onto your right hand side only you should get the answers which means what I'm saying is eight minutes. So we shall write the basic equation starting with minutes because the question is given in terms of minutes. So write it like in this way as what that one minute is equal to what? 60 seconds, right? One minute is equal to what? 60 seconds. So then we should convert these eight minutes, right? So then write that down here. Look at it. Look at this particular way. Here also there is what minute, even at the bottom also I mentioned in what in minutes. So if you had mentioned like in the other way around, then it will be wrong. You can't do this method. If you all need to do this particular way and getting on getting the answer, then you all should write it accordingly, like the way I have written it here. So that one minute is equal to what 60 seconds, then what eight minutes is what is equal to what you all need to do here is take this, this over this right this over this then what multiplied by this 
So this is the exact pattern which you could follow for all the questions based on conversions. Then definitely you will not get into a trouble of having a doubt whether I need to like divide or whether I need to multiply. Because most of y'all, even though if y'all if y'all know what it is, what the basic equation is, most of y'all are having a doubt on whether we need to multiply or whether we need to divide when it comes to a question based on conversions. Because I have seen those mistakes in most of the students that they would uh, yeah, that they are making these mistakes uh, frequently. So then here, please have a look. So then for eight minutes, what we need to do here is, as I said, this over this, then what times it by this, which means take that 60 seconds, right? Over means what? 60 seconds, but divided by this, what I have written on top, this over this, right? And then what times it by, and then what multiply this by what they've given over here, which is the question, eight minutes, eight minutes. You can actually follow this method for all the conversion based questions. You will definitely get the answer if you follow this method. This divided by this, and then what multiplied by this. For that, you should make sure since the question is given in terms of minutes, we should write the equation in terms starting off with minute. So which means the minutes part should be written on the left hand side while we should get the answer in seconds on the right hand side, right? So yeah, minute and then this one will get canceled out because it's the same units, right? So now what is uh, left out? What is left out here? 60 seconds to be divided by one. When you like divide a certain number by one, it's gonna be what the same as that. So then 60 seconds is here times it by what eight, right? So if you all do this here, yeah, please have a look. I'll do the working for that 60 into eight, right? So zero times eight is what zero. Then six times eight is what? 48. So then that would probably come to what? So as it is 60 into eight, if you all know the eight times or six times table, six times eight is what? It's 48. So then with that zero, it would probably be written as what? Four. 180 or year i have done the working for that zero times eight is what zero six times it's what 48 then which will be written as what 480 480 seconds then so i've gotten the answer for that particular one right Yeah. So yeah, please copy this down. This method is much more helpful for y'all, not only like in this grade, even for the rest of the grades until your O levels, even, uh, yeah, even in A levels, yes, in conversions wise, uh, anyway, y'all can use this, use this part, use this idea. This idea is really important, right? So I hope y'all have copied it so that I could point out a few set of other questions as well. So y'all would get another uh, piece of idea here yeah. please have a look onto these ones yeah i've given express each of the following times given in seconds in terms of what in terms of minutes in terms of minutes right so i'm going to erase this i hope everyone is done Are all done thing So I hope you all are done copying. Right. So now please look into this one. For here, we should convert this into what? Into minutes, right? So as we need to convert this into minutes, the question is given as what? Nine seconds. So they have given the question in terms of what? In terms of seconds. So if we need to convert this, have a look. Yeah, the question is all about what? Converting the seconds 
into what in into minutes so as we need to convert the seconds into minutes we must know the basic equation anyway based on with seconds and minute we know that we have written that before as well one minute equal to what one minute is equal to what 60 seconds but here the question is given in terms of seconds for that reason we must anyway write down the equation but in the other way around why is that because the question is given in terms of seconds right so since they've given in terms of seconds we must start off with seconds and we must write the same equation in the other way around which means we must write it as what that 60 seconds 60 seconds is equal to what one minute 60 is equal to what one minute right so for this 900 seconds as you convert this into minutes we know that 60 seconds is equal to one minute i could have even written as one minute is equal to six seconds why did i write why didn't i write like that why did i mention like in this way because the question here the numerical value what i have mentioned here is given in terms of seconds and also i need to convert that into minutes so i need to convert that into minutes for that reason only we should always uh, for that reason only i've written it like in this way so always when it comes to a question like this please make sure that you write the basic equation in the same order like by keeping the if they have given in terms of seconds to convert that into minutes keep the seconds onto your left hand side and we should get the answer onto our right hand side right so here please have a look so here it's what it's 900 seconds it's given as what 900 seconds so as it is 900 seconds <coughs> what we could do here is as i said the same step the same uh, thing i'm going to follow up the same thing but i say before this divided by this and then what times it by this i'm going to write down the same thing this divided by this and then what times it by this times it by this so which means take that one minute right divided by 60 seconds 60 seconds 60 seconds and then should multiply we should multiply by what 900 seconds we should multiply it by what 900 seconds so seconds and seconds here will get cancelled off so we should probably get the answer in what in minutes so we are on the right track so please have a look look at the numerical here one into 900 is how much the same as 900 and then what we must divide it by here 60 is they are placed at the denominator so which means what we should divide it by 60. So even though if I do not know whether I need to multiply it by 60 or divide by 60 by doing in this way, now I now I have actually gotten as what that I'm actually dividing it by 60. But by following up in this way, you don't re really need to memorize whether we need to like multiply or whether we need to like divide and then y'all uh, will get confused in the exams whether we need to multiply but because I have seen these mistakes in most of students in conversions for that reason only i really recommend this way so then anyway you at the end you will get the correct answer anyway at the end you will get the correct answer so this will be so minutes is left out there so will be given in terms of what minutes right so please have a look 900 to be divided by 60. so what we can do here is we should probably figure out how many uh yeah we should divide by 60 no here there's what nine and zero together because if you check with nine there are no any 60s so we should take what the first two digits together which is what 90. so how many 60s are in the 90. it's what it's one times 60 is what 60. so then 90 minus 60 will make it as what 30. right zero minus zero is zero nine minus six is what three then we should bring this digit which is what zero so it's 300. so even in order to do this if you all know the six times table you all will be able to get the correct answers because we know that one into six is what it's six two into six is what it's 12 then three into six is what it's 18 then four times six is what it's 24 then five times six is what it's 30. so now based on these ideas if i just add a zero to it one into 60 means what you also i should add a zero 
60. One, 2 into 60 means what? 120. 3 into 6 is 18. So 3 into 60 at a 0 on to the right hand side, 180. Then 4 into 6 is what? 24. Then 4 into 60 will make it what? 240. Then 5 into 6 is what? 30. So 5 into 60 will make it what? 300. So if you all know the 6 times table, you all can simply identify the 60 times tables in this way. So as it is 300 here, as it is 300 here, if you all even check, if you are checking with like the 6 times table, ignore this 0 and uh, check with 6 times table. Obviously, 5 times 6 is what? 30, right? So 5 times 60 will be 300. 5 times 6 30. So 5 times 60 is what? Is 300. So it will be what? 5 here. So then 300 minus 300 is what? 0. So then what do we get here? 15. So the answer should be what? 15 minutes then. 15 minutes. So here I've done a calculation based on what? Based on converting seconds to minutes. Actually, I don't uh, really memorize anything here. By practice, it will uh, make even by doing quite a lot of questions, by practicing uh, quite a lot of questions only, uh, you all will be able to uh, get as your expected grades, as what you all would uh, think, oh, okay, like getting like more than 80s or getting like more than even 90s. For that, you all need to anyway practice quite a lot. And also, you all should understand the basic concept even without knowing the basic concept or without knowing the basic equations on the way uh, the division part or else even the multiplication, even though if I do not know the six times table, will I be able to divide it? Will I be able to get the answer? No. Even if the, if the person knows all these methods, if that person doesn't know the six times table, that person will not know the 60 times table. So anyway, that person will be out, which means that person will not be able to get the final answer. So which means when it comes to a question like this, you must know what the basic equation. So think of all these things which are involved in this question. The without knowing the basic equation that 60 seconds is equal to one minute, we will not be able to do this question. That is one thing which is really important, which means what equations are important. Equations are really, really important. And then the method that we need to follow up. That's really important without knowing that we, I, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't be able to do this question. And the division part, for that, I need to know the six times table. Then only I will be able to write down the 60 times table. Then only I will be able to get the answer. So that, which means three things are involved here. Equations, we must know the equation. Second thing, we must know the method. Third thing, we must know the times table and plus the division part as well, right? So all these things are involved in this particular area, right? So I will like do a few questions uh, anyway, play inversions part as well. Even y'all can actually uh, like take this method and y'all can apply this method to all the other questions in which y'all would get based on conversion. Y'all can simply apply the same method. It, that would be like really helpful for y'all, right? <coughs> so here, uh, there are a few questions here I've given. Express each of the following uh, times given in seconds in terms of what minute. Uh, Amar Shafan, you have raised your hand. Uh, any doubts? You can ask if you got any doubts. Uh, Amar Shafan, do you have any doubts? Nine hundred second. How? How many nine hundred second? How much nine hundred? Yeah, how much nine hundred seconds? Yeah, what I change two minutes. Yeah, change two minutes. Yes, we have converted the seconds into minutes. Yes. So the question is about converting what second to minutes. I can't understand. So you didn't understand, okay? Yeah, I will explain this part again. Yeah. <clears throat> so please have a look. This this question is based on what we need to convert. Look at the question which I'm sharing on the screen. Express each of the following times given in seconds in terms of minutes. 
So they have given the values, which means the time in what? In seconds here. We should convert this into what? Into minutes, right? So yeah, please have a look. As we need to convert this seconds into minutes for first, I have mentioned that initially that as I need to convert this 900 seconds into what? Into minutes, into what? Into minutes, right? So as I need to convert this seconds into minutes, what I did here is, I have mentioned as what that, I we should know the basic equation. We should know the basic equation initially anyway. Without knowing that equation, we can't really do anything. Without even, without knowing that how many seconds are there in a minute, we won't be able to do this. So first you all must know that one minute is equal to what? 60 seconds. And also why did I mention like this, instead of writing as one minute equals six seconds, I have written as what? 60 seconds is equal to one minute. Can someone, un wait, I can, uh, do you all know the reason why I have written like this? Can I get the answer from one of you? Why did I mention like this? Instead of normally we would write as what? One minute is equal to what? Is equal to 60 seconds, right? But why did I mention like this? Do you all have the answers? You all can raise your hand so that I could unmute. You all can tell me the reason for writing like, in this way. In this way, like writing it as 60 seconds is equal to one minute. Uh, let's ask from Zainab Ahmed. Yeah. Because they have given the question in seconds. Yes. So since they have given the question in seconds, for that reason only, I have mentioned the seconds part initially. You're correct. That is what I said before. So since they have given the question in seconds, since they have given the question in seconds, as we need to convert this into minutes, we must know the basic equation anyway, which is what one minute is equal to 60 seconds, but I did not write in that order. Yeah, I did not write in that. Why is that? Because they have given the question in terms of seconds. So according to the question, in which they have, uh, in which they have given the units along with. So based on that, we should write, uh, we should write the equation in that particular order. So since they given the question in terms of seconds, for that reason only, I have also mentioned seconds initially. Right? And only I have mentioned seconds initially, which means what sixty seconds is equal to what one minute, which I no the basic equation. Then what's the question? 900 seconds to be converted into what into minutes for that only i mentioned what 900 seconds so please make sure like if you all look at this equal sign on to the right hand side of it i have all of the ones which i mentioned are what of right which is of what seconds right after the equal sign i mentioned all of these in terms of what minutes so this is how the way it should be written as then only you all will be able to get the correct answer then only all will be able to get the correct answer. If you all have written like in the other way around, then then everything will be wrong. And also someone has sent me the answer as uh, 150. It's not 150 because we are dividing it by 60, right? If we are dividing it by six, then only it would probably come to what? 150, right? But here we are dividing by 60. So you should probably check with what the 60 times table, right? So here, so then 900 seconds is equal to what? This over this, and then what times it by this? Always follow this method. Only the thing is this divided by this division sign. And then what times it by this? So that is what I've mentioned over here. 
that one minute over 60 seconds, which is divided, and then what multiplied by 900 seconds. If you all could follow this method, and also if you all could, at first time, it would sometimes, more, for most of students, it would be like difficult. Yes, I agree with that. But if you all practice regularly in this method, then you all would probably say this is the easiest way for conversions. If you all practice regularly, like in the same method as how I have done this question, if you all could practice like in the same way, then you all would probably say that this is the easiest method for doing questions based on conversions. For that, you all need to do a little bit of practice. For that only, I've given, I've added like more questions here. And also I'm pointing out like few questions, so then you all will get the ideas on how the way it should be done, right? Okay. So the one who asked me, is it clear? So then from this, I canceled off the second and seconds. Then what is left out here? One into what? Into 900. That will make it as what? 900. Then what? Here. 60 is they are placed at the denominator, which we need to divide it by. So 900 over 60. So that will be given in terms of what minutes? Yes, I mentioned it. So then 900 divided by 60 is equal to what? 15 minutes is what we would get. Right. So, yeah. So, uh, the one who asked me, is it clear for that particular one? The one who asked me before regarding this? You get the idea on doing this question? You get the idea? on all the way this question to be should be done now please have a look <clears throat> okay so i'll just do uh, one more question and then we shall finish the lesson for today at 5 45 right i'll just do one more question so please have a look here please have a look Please have a look. <coughs> so now, uh, the next one is what express each of the following times given in seconds in terms of minutes and seconds, right? In terms of minutes and seconds, right? For this one, please have a look. It's given as what? 185 seconds. 185 seconds, right? So as we need to give this in, terms of minutes and seconds, you all can probably write down the equation in this way, taking as what 60 seconds is equal to, is equal to what? One minute, then we should probably take it for what? 185 seconds is what is equal to, please have a look onto this. So again, this, divided by this and then what multiplied by this right but here we need to do a small change like on getting the final answer i will say that at the end so this over this divided by what 60 right 60 seconds and then what times it by 185 seconds right so here initially what we would get is one into 185 like when there is a fraction written and if there's a number is if there's a number which is getting multiplied with the fraction that particular whole number will get multiplied with the numerator not with the denominator the numerator of the fraction which means the number which is there on top so one into 185 is what the same as 185 and for the denominator, we got what 60. So 185 over 60. So here, please have a look. 185 divided by 60. So then this should probably come to, we should probably check with how many 60s are there in. 
if you take the first two digits, it's what 18. So there are no any 60s in 18. So you should probably take the three digits together, 185. So then how many 60s are there in 185? You all know that three times six is what, 18? So then three times 60 will make it what? As 180. Will make it was 180. So then five minus zero is at five. Then eight minus eight is what zero. One minus one is what zero. Then from this, we would probably get what five as the remainder. What does this mean actually? This three is the one which we should write as what in minutes? Because the question is, we should give the answer in terms of what minutes and seconds. So three is the one which we should give as what in terms of minutes. So three minutes and the remainder, which is this is what we call as the quotient and this is the one which we call as the remainder right so the question should be written over which is what three minutes so which if that is three minutes we know that three times 60 is equal to 180 seconds so we have already taken that 180 seconds away from the 185 so there is what five seconds left out which we have gotten here as the remainder then that should be mentioned over here as what three minutes and then what five seconds three minutes and then what five seconds so what y'all could do is here three minutes and and your five is the remainder so five seconds right so quickly copy this down with the workings, with all the relevant uh, ones which I've written on the board, please quickly copy it down. <laughs> please quickly copy this down. Right. So with this question, we shall end the session with this question for today. I hope everyone has copied. So I hope you all would have uh, gotten a better idea on conversions. Actually, I could have done uh, most of it, but whereas uh, we didn't have enough time uh, to do the entire part of it. But anyway, I could do this part, which is really helpful for y'all. So since I could do this, please practice questions in this way, even with the other parts on conversions based on the length, based on the mass, y'all can simply uh, rely on this method, which will definitely help y'all to get the correct answers with the exact units. Right? So we shall end the session with this for today. Thank you for attending the session. Bye.